And we're back. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I feel something magic in the air tonight. And I'm not just talking about the gamma radiation. Time to do old world blues. I have asked you on the poll if you want some mods, and you definitely do want some mods. And since I love Fallout, especially New Vegas, that's exactly what we're going to play. West Coast? If you are not familiar with it, the old world blues is a total conversion mod for Hasfine 4, that brings it into the world of Fallout. And since New Vegas is my favorite Fallout, that's exactly my cup of tea. And of course we're going to play as Robert Edwin House. Because the house always wins. Let's do historical AI focuses, so the event should resemble what happens in the games. Average difficulty. I've played this a little bit just to get my bearings. I have a bit of a plan, we'll see how that works out. Not turning on Iron Man mode because it's a mod and mods can be unstable. So, let's go! New Vegas! And a lot changes from the base game. First and foremost, the UI. Even the sounds are from Fallout. And there's a lot of options on everything. This is New Vegas and we have our Securitrons. Which are great because they don't take any manpower almost. Let's train up some more Securitrons. But first, on the focus tree. If you've played New Vegas, you will recognize a lot of things in the focus tree. And the initial four focuses will let us make historic choices. Or what Mr. House decides. Judgment Day. Let's boost our infrastructure in New Vegas itself and then build factories. Research. Four research slots. Appropriate for a genius like Mr. House. Everything has changed, all the research behaves differently. It can be figured out. We're going to focus on the robots. Just don't do this. I played a short test game and this ruined me. It's a terrible idea. It reduces production cost of robots. It also tanks your manpower. Don't do it. Right, where was I? Oh, land doctrines are back. Yeah, automated warfare. Research that. We're going to focus on the robots and our industry and engineering. Resistors for faster research. This is the equivalent of concentrated industry and this is the equivalent of distributed industry. So let's do work assignments and get some more people. Manpower is on a much smaller scale these days. As for the factories, we'll need some basic weaponry for garrisons and such. And I think we need caravan equipment. And then all the rest goes into Securitrons. Lots of them. It's gonna be a while until we can upgrade the Securitrons with the platinum chip. Of course, that's if we stay with Mr. House and not under new management, but I'm intending to stay with Mr. House. Sadly, the platinum chip is not something we can do right away. But if we play our cards right, we might even conquer some people in the meantime. Let's speed the game up to four and unpause. We're bordering the divide, the Sky Rivers and New California. New California is our best customer. They're giving me some power from the Hoover Dam, which is excellent. Lots of stuff is happening. The Great War. Bombs fell and we could save some arms workshops or some civilian workshops. I am always partial to having a lot of civilian factories because you can build a lot of other stuff with them. So we get four civilians or three arms. Uh, civilian please. Yeah, let's get some tooltips. I have read through this. Not sure I understand everything yet. There's trade nodes and everything else. Lots of stuff too wrap your head around, but I do prefer to just uh, figure it out as we go. can even do trade routes. And we have institutions that can sell us guns. Alright, help to this, that will come in handy. Exercise these guys up. And the next focus is the incomplete operating system we are operating under when the bombs fall. Right, a lot of things remain the same. Energy cells are the equivalent of fuel, but generated automatically by a lot of your buildings. And we need them for our robots to work. Alright. So, operating system, stable OS, extra research and organization, or unstable OS, less organization, defense and research speed, but better attack. No, we'll go with the stable one. Ah, the three families. We have to choose which three families we will employ. White gloves, or the fiends, the cons or the omatas, or the chairman or the kings. And we should analyze this and pick the ones with the better bonuses. I'm thinking I might exchange the chairman for the kings. As though, the three families. Oh, we got our caps income. We get it from our trade node. We're minting caps. We can also get some from tourism. Because we're competing with new Reno and tourists. But the investment on these is very, very high. And the payout, not that great. So I think we might want to dominate tourism by just taking over new Reno and having a monopoly. There's a lot of decisions, but those will become relevant later. Although, actually, I have a lot of caps, not much to do with them, so let's start investing in small business. And begin a scavenging program, maybe we'll find something interesting. Right, if I go to my trade node here, we can create a new trade route. Even promote the node, what will that entail? What did I just do? Oh, I spent my political power. I didn't really want to do that. 
That's fine. This will pay off. Guess it will probably boost itself into economic development. Yeah. New route. Most profitable one, please. And that will be North Phoenix. Although I feel like the hub is the better choice because we want a close relationship with the NCR. Ah, selecting the bonds and the free families. Reopening Gomorrah. A new Vegas expansion. Let's see what we get. Right, so we pick the Omertas or the Khans. The Omertas give us political power but reduce our recruitable population. Our recruitable population is actually terrible, so I'm not sure this is the right choice. Let's have a closer look and calculate all of this. If we go the Khans route, we'll get total minus 10 stability, plus 10 reinforce rate, plus 10 war support, plus 10 attack, and quicker justifications, and some free units, which don't matter really. If we go with the Omeritas, we get less recruitable population, more political power, better trade and consumer goods, better production efficiency, even more political power. Huh. I kind of want to go with the Khans, but the Omertas give me a lot more political power. And political power is very, very useful. And also I like high stability. So let's go with the Omertas. Follow the decision of the real Mr. House. The Ultra Lux is a no-brainer, the Fiends are an idiotic bunch, and the White Gloves will really come in handy. Economic growth. Trade and commerce has expanded. Oh, that's because I boosted the, the node. That actually seems to have been a good choice. Can I boost it again? Ah, he pulled Kappa. Yes, I will be boosting the node more later on. Excellent. Reopening the tops. The chairman give me political power. Benny is a snake and will betray me. But extra political power is nice. How about recruitable population? It's no big deal that it will be reduced a bit. If we go with the kings, we'll lose a lot of political power on it. The difference is actually 0.3 points per day, which is huge. Now let's compare. Oh, Intel. I need to do Intel in a moment. So with Benny, we get some operative boosts, which don't matter that much, two military factories, and 10% construction speed for civilian factories. With the Kings, we get 10% construction speed on everything, some stability in war support, actually 10% stability total, which is huge, and some building slots. If this wasn't such a huge disparity with political power, I would have gone with the Kings. Well, because Benny's a snake, and I would like to have more population. Um, but... Yeah, okay, let's go with Benny. Historical choices. Maybe if I play this again, I'll choose different families. Expansion inward or outward. It actually doesn't really matter that much. What matters is what we get out of this. Three factories in New Vegas or infrastructure all around. I'll get factories, please, because I can just build that infrastructure. Now, here we boost uh, the casinos. Here, we make political choices. I'm going with Mr. House, of course. Robert Edwin House is a genius and I like him. Old authority. Let's save our political power for now. Time to get more Securitron generals. Oh, you have a cool moustache. Let's promote him. Although, maybe cool is saying a bit too much. We'll be fine. Promote these guys. Agile and Finesse don't really like it that much. Someone else? Maybe you'll do better. Hoarder, Charismatic, Agile and a Tech Wizard. Could be nice, although the supply consumption boost is not. Very nice. I do have the points. We can roll some more. Your turn. Oh, went exactly to level two. Cool. Lucky, enduring, fortune finder. This could be good. I think he'll be my general. Organization loss when moving is a bit of a problem, but supply grace can be very nice. Let's roll another one. And I'm out of points. No rush. Combat language. Let's do that and establish our spy agency. Robco Human Resources. People start declaring war on each other. Now, I think I would prefer less small tribes and all that, and just to cover the entirety of North America instead. But I'm not the mod maker. Let's play it more before we complain. I think we should expand. How about attacking these guys? They are definitely our weakest neighbor. And I do have a claim on Area 51, um, although it might be a bit too early. You know what? Let's justify on them. The faster we can take the area over, the quicker we'll get compliance and all the resources. And I think this will pay off. Let's do cryptology. We'll be growing faster than there, so maybe waiting a bit would be good, but hmm, I'm torn on this. Old authority complete. Economic miracle drains political power. Let's not do it. At least not yet. Time for the ultra lux. Because Marjorie is an excellent advisor. I could release Jacobstown. Interesting. Make sure we do the utmost to have quick compliance like waste on pacification, if we have the manpower for it, but we should. We will not be conquering too much, at least at the start. Decryption. Let's promote another one. Whoa, it's very strong, but can only lead a couple of units. 
definitely just four definitely not a long-term choice for a general but it could be useful let's use this guy level two and start decrypting and also hire an agent and we have courier six available who's level 50 so yes that's definitely who we're gonna take go infiltrate them the navarro territories are attacking people I'm guessing New California will be growing soon. Should we exercise or save up the Securitrons? Let's exercise. Go Caps, you have lots of those. Reclamation Authority, old world secrets will be ours. Ignore the tourist thing for now. Essentially, if we get more tourists, then New Reno will get money for it and development. But we get the development anyway. Wait a minute, will the node advance on its own with that? It might. Ah, doesn't matter. Let's send out manual prospectors. It does use some manpower though. But let's try it at least. Maybe we'll find something interesting. The followers of the apocalypse. If we were to expel them, we'd be better at warmongering. But if we have them, they'll help our people. I think the followers will be good for our territory. We will have to keep them in check. Research speed 5%, that's nice. War support is decreased, but I can handle that. More secure drones. Although I might be going to war too early. Looking out for the stuff that boosts all our frontline platoons like this. I've increased reliability of my robots too. Is 5 secure drone units enough? Hmm... Not necessarily, but let's cancel that. Five Securitrons might be sufficient to take them over. Rogue Rangers attack the Guardians. 215th attack the Sons of Kaga. Rogue Rangers are someone to look out for. Might be dangerous to us. Same with the White Legs. They have a lot of troops. And the eights up here. Volatile Shack Market. Extra money or regulate it? No, no. Unregulated. Mr. House is very hands off. The Ultra Lux. Now the White Glove Society, because Marjorie will help us long term quite a lot. Let's do dedicated workshops. It's a bit ahead of time, but it should be worth it. Army Department. Yeah, I shouldn't have started justifying before I had the cipher, but it should be fine. We'll be stronger, I think. Command power. Enough to get a field marshal. Oh no, need some more. Oh, I haven't talked about this. The general trains have been changed to perks, and of course we're gonna pick. The robotics expert. Continue getting the research boosts. Tourism season. We're not getting any money, but the money. Well, it would be a net loss anyway. Wait a minute, where's my... Why can't I promote my node? What the hell? Why did this disappear? I don't understand this. I could promote it and then the tourist stuff happened. My justification is ready. Stop your training, get ready to fight. Pending caps on the intelligence agency. See, this seems helpful because it reduces robot production costs, but actually the recruitable population factor 20% hurts a lot, so let's not take it. Let's get better tools. The followers establish themselves. Oh, we lose political power from them. God damn it, followers. Well, long term it should be useful. And the scavengers found something. What did you find? Some infantry equipment. And the technology. Tool schematics. Which one is that? Oh, reward. Those are unique technologies. Unlocks corresponding pre-war business. Okay. Unlock this company. Huh, interesting. Well, we do have Robco, which we're not changing, but interesting. You guys activated yet? Yes, you are. Time to declare war. Take claimed state. No, I think I might have been too hasty. We don't have enough secure drones in some of the units, but it might be fine. Here, reinforce a bit. Voltar Shack Market. Ka-ching! Legat Lanius, who is not a Legat yet, is fighting people. Yeah, I was too hasty with the war. Yeah, well, Gomorrah time. And we hire Marjorie. Where is she? There she is. Extra political power gain. And major business. The Golden Gecko Entertainment Company for political power. Lots of political power. Yes. Let me stop your attack until they stop their attack. We have some manpower, so I could add normal frontline battalions. But I think just using the secure drones will be fine. Alright, attack once they're done attacking. Smooth talker. Help build the network. Smoke signals, sure. How's my decryption going? It's going fine. We're researching smoke signals. That's how we're going to send commands to our highly advanced robots, of course. Let's let them do their thing slowly. And could I cut them off from supply by going here? Let's see if we can do that. Unlikely. Sons of Kaga was annexed by the 215th. Might be my next target. Oh well, no, we can't actually access them. The Omertas, also military theorist, and hmm, the aggressive AI. Should I make them aggressive? Let's try and make them aggressive. So all my robots are actually doing something. I attack too early, but we can still make this work. It is attacking people. All right, we're through some of their defenses. Cut them off in these guys. And cut them off from any supplies. Can we do that? This would actually help quite a bit if this worked. You keep pinning them. I don't usually like doing micromanagement, but it's a necessity here. Ah, the cipher's decrypted, finally. Activate. Oh no, our secure drone got a virus. Also, time for the field marshal. Let's take... Melee hacker. Oh, again, don't have the points. It's fine. Hmm. You know what? Go balanced. Cutting them off doesn't seem like the good choice. Stop this and build up some more secure drones. We can wait a bit. Now, we need to have Nero active for the next step. Lose some stability and it unlocks. 
Addiction for sale. Okay, what's that? Some institutions. Chop shop requests lowered tariffs. Do we care what the chop shop's opinion of us is? So we have the institutions here, and we can get some temporary bonuses spending that opinion. But the construction speed boost is nice. All right, we have a lot of caps. We'll do tariff relief for them. Come on, stop that attack. I almost got them cut off. Damn it, so close. Some agriculture. Almost cut them off again, but these guys are trying to reinforce. Let's try and stop them. Yes, excellent. Cut these guys off from supply. That's much better. And we're already gaining compliance quickly. So why can't I progress my node? Should have boosted it while I could. Hmm. Hopefully that will become available later. Tourism season result and a development. And now I can promote it again. Well, let's, while we can, because I'm not sure when it will be available. Increase trade route slots by zero. And promote it again? Yes. Let's do it while we can. I lost 14 people. Excellent again. Our basic income is growing. Promote it again. Max out the node. Let's do the mobster army. Three weapon factories are going to help our Securitron supply quite a lot. Growth again. I'm not sure how much of this node stuff matters, but let's max out New Vegas. Lots of people attacking each other. Lots of people. Right, can't promote it anymore. Whoa, this actually expanded its reach to the divide. Cool, I'll have to conquer it then, later. Roach King attacked Vault 37. I have no idea what's going on there. We built up some defenses, but we seem to have the upper hand. And we almost have enough security transfer for everyone. Hostile takeover of Petro Chico, not my problem. Once we're done boosting New Vegas, Nellis Air Force Base gets its infrastructure. Trying to do stuff that's not ahead of time, and that we will want anyway. Oh, will you have guarded your victory point, or should I just run there? You know what? Let's just let them do their thing. Metal working. And... Oh, I didn't do the bland doctrine. I should. Just let them do their thing. Hopefully they will not get killed. Trust the combat AIs. Trust them a bit. Okay. Rogue Rangers are fighting the Guardians. Let's see what comes of it. Oh, not only the Guardians. Guardians and the 215. I must have misread something. It doesn't matter. Mobster army is complete. The tops. Would be nice to have this guy. Oh well. Should I use Securitrons in my garrisons? How do I save up on manpower? Maybe later. Let's do subroutine gamma for defense and recovery rate. Oh, nice. Separated them once again. Let's do industrial stuff ahead of time. Mojave territory is attacking Mojave Brotherhood. I need you to move here. Cypher. Excellent. Use it. In the meantime, I'm going to decrypt, who are you? The sleepers. Because they're weak and they are on our border. Lots of caps. Let's send out some prospectors. We have lots and lots of money. I should use it. Military signing bonuses and lift attacks on luxury goods. I should get more units just to make sure our front lines are secure. They're about to be, but still. Ah, we can hire Mr. New Vegas. Well, that can wait a bit. We'll need Benny hired to progress our focuses. Rogue Rangers were next. That makes the 215th a force to be reckoned with, doesn't it? Interesting. I might fight them. On the other hand, it might be a bad idea. They don't seem dangerous to me. Famous last words. We'll see. But now this is finally going properly. Properly. Oh, can we switch economies? Every cup for the army? No, our enemies don't have enough factories to warrant this. This is going well enough. Level 5 already, nice. Let's do inspirational. The tops, now the chairman. Oh, Pesa would have offset the king's penalty. I haven't noticed that before. Should have gone with the kings then. Hmm. That's a pity. Oh well. Siege of Hidden Valley. Not my problem. Should I attack Grant the Grubber territory next? I think so, yes. But first let's defeat these guys and then the sleepers. Standardized tools. It's all ahead of time, but the faster we get it, the faster we'll benefit from it. Start building networks elsewhere. Yeah, I should have gone with the kings. Hmm, it's a pity. Really dislike Benny. Oh, if I run for the capital, will that be enough? Or will I just get cut off and die? Are we gonna surrender now? Almost. Right, then we need to get Crystal Springs and then we'll win. Get me Crystal Spring. These guys are really going for it. I should be stronger than them, so maybe this is a nice way to get out of territory. If I get through the grabbers first. Anyways, time to start justifying on these guys here. Western Grand Canyon will be mine. And we win. Oh, they captured seven of my Securitrons. At least we got that back. Of course I take everything. New Vegas has grown. Now, compliance might not be perfect, but we have uh, such an aggressive law selected here, based on pacification, that it grows our compliance very quickly. I can also boost that with a new citizen care package. Let's also raise the wasteland intelligence budget. Then, the price will grow even faster. Okay, Securitrons. I'm to take over these guys. Scum just found something. And who demands tribute? Grabbers. We shall not be pushed around. And we got encryption and decryption boosts. 
nice, although it is temporary. TV Town was next. We really need to take these guys out because they probably have a small army but a lot of territory. We'll need to get through the grubbers first and of course get more secure drones. Let's put that on a low priority actually. Make sure our frontline battalions have all they need. These guys are weak. Should be easy. Ah, the chairman. We can now hire Swank, who's kind of nice, and Benny, who's a sad necessity. Oh, and of course, Mr. New Vegas. Wouldn't have it any other way. I'm the chairman. Tourism season, yeah, doesn't matter. We're not getting any trade routes. That's disappointing. Yes, it's a system. I'm assuming it will sort itself out. Now, if only knew how to access the map with. Oh, you can core states, that's nice. The map with the trade hubs. Maybe here. Oh, here it is, trade nodes. Right. If we conquer the 215th, we'll get another trade node. Nice. Now the grabbers have been threatening us. They might attack. If they do... Oh, you're attacking again? Really? Oh, I, I must have... Oh, the eight. These guys are attacking. Ripe rolled territory. Oh, you guys fight each other and then I take both of you out. Would be nice. Well, the eights have been growing quickly. That's a lot of troops. I can't handle that. About the 215th? I can handle that. Grabbers? Mm, definitely can handle that. Let's get a life giver for 10%. Organization. I have a lot more caps than I need. Oh no, big shag above all. We already have swank. If I do political bribes, we'll be able to change some laws on the cheap. Well, let's wait until we have some more political power. The white legs attacked the timekeepers. Now, our robots, do we want quality or quantity? If we go with quantity, we get 20% factory output boosts. And that's for everything we build. And some defense and reinforce rate. Here, we get hit points, better supply, breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack, defense, hardness and armor. It's a lot of stuff. A 20% more factory output means 20% robots from the base, so that's actually 20%. So do we want them better or do we want them cheaper? I think we want them better. Let's go with quality. Also, I should probably use the lone wolf guy. He can only handle four troops, but damn is he strong. Although now that the other guy is level 5, he's probably not that strong. Ah, he might become useful later. Might as well train him up a bit. New crossroads for extra army experience. Then we can invest that army experience in the robots. Should I go after the white legs and eliminate the threat while they're busy? No, they're too strong. I think sh I should strike at the grubber territory quickly and then 215th before they have the time to incorporate all that territory that I just took. Benny's New Deal. Let's do political bribes and change some laws around. Lifetime pensions for the military because we hardly pay them anyway and... The experience gains do matter. Well-equipped army. We might increase this later. Compliance growth, that's really fast. Brought my caps in, that's enough. I mean, I could increase my cap income quite significantly by doing this focus economic miracle. However, political power cost is quite high. We'll do it, I think, but much later. Oh, justification is complete. I'm gonna just found the grabbers next and attack these guys, the sleepers. This should be easy. Big shack bubble again. Well, we did get profits from it. The Dan attacking Modoc. The cipher's ready. Excellent timing. Let's get the grubber's cipher. Oh yeah, and you guys can help with the attack. Oh, I'm running out of scrap metal. No worries. We'll get some extra from Nellis Air Force Base once we build infrastructure there. And Area 51 has some resources. Not scrap metal though. Suppose I could get extra by increasing infrastructure in Jacobstown and Ruby Hills. Prioritize the Securitrons. These will produce anyway. Let's get more manpower with Wasteland Militia. We can't research suicide pills before we research healing powder. That's uh, that's interesting. Oh, the aides pop it at these guys. Interesting. Reclamation Army Depot, who wherever they are, attack a bunch of people. And we win. Select all. We control. Oh, the river. Oh, I can't access on the sorrows if I wanted to attack them. We would need to go through the white legs first. About the dead horses. They have a lot of troops. They're probably crap, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, grabber territory it is. Although I think it will be better coordinated if everyone is... Just in one army. Get in position and kill them. Benny's new deal is complete. What options do we have? We can continue down here to open the Lucky 38. Secure the north with brawling in the sewers. Doesn't seem appealing. Or economic miracle. I want my political power. Right, let's continue down here. Wealthy contacts. New California Republic annexes the rapids. Oh, 215th is attacking again. Vipers this time. And they have more troops, but they're probably crap. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna attack you. Take all that territory. 
Wait a minute. Where is New Reno? New Reno has been annexed. It's not New Reno anymore. Do we still have the tourist rivalry? Oh, it's just uh, under different management. Wonder what will happen if we take them over. Build up the network. Train up the robot units. Well, I guess this is what you call AI training, right? Volatile shack market. You know what? Let's do some oversight. We don't want uh, the bubble to happen again. Let's get the robot packs. Bits and bolts. Let's make our field marshal a melee hacker. A smooth talker. Yeah, and flexible. Do it nicely. Chimerian consensus is what used to be. New Reno and they're attacking the den. Let's go for freedom of speech because it gives me political power. And I love political power. Is that production? Fine. Plant cultivation. Chop shop tariff relief. Sure. Do we want that? Yeah, sure. Send out some prospectors. Fortunately, you can actually core territory here. So investments outside of our initial core territory are not wasted. Now, I'm not sure if it actually works like this, but I think extra infrastructure in the node, which now takes quite a lot of territory into account, will increase my trade income. I might be wrong. I'm gonna max it out in Ruby Hill and Jacobstown for the scrap metal and other stuff. Now, Area 51 has some resources, quite a lot of them actually. Even though it's not our core territory yet, I'm going to boost infrastructure there too. We'll make it core. Wealthy contacts done. Human banquet or abandoned cannibalism. Of course we'll abandon cannibalism. Let's get a bunch of these. I'm not building foundries or power stations probably, um, but if we take over some, they'll be boosted. Then again, I think we'll benefit more from just doing the head of time stuff, like construction, scrap shacks, and dedicated factories. Let's do dedicated factories. Secondary general, robotics expert. Tourism season, yeah, whatever. Don't really care. All right, the uh, big threats seem to be the white legs and the 80s. 115th, I think I'll handle before they grow into a big threat, if we move fast enough. Smooth talker. No, this looks relatively weak. Let's protect drones and stuff. Maybe we should take them over too. But the further we stretch, the more big threats we encounter. Yeah, protection and security should be useful to us. And there's this TV town here that has a lot of everything. I need that. And the economic node. Now, if I have more manpower, which I will be working on, I can actually field normal battalions alongside my Securitrons. I have lots and lots of caps so I can just buy good guns for them. The flesh is weak, oh yes. Oh, really? Your California Republic attacked the Divide. Well, that changes things. I need to attack the Divide so I can get a bit. Declare war on the Grabber territory. Do I have the cipher yet? No, but almost. How are we doing? Very well. Okay, you guys handle this. You go to the Divide. The Divide is relatively strong, but not as strong as New California, of course. Hopefully I can get some stuff from there. This is an attack of opportunity. The Den was the next. And this is going very smoothly. Activate the grabber cipher, decrypt the divide. Maybe we'll manage to get something from them before New California gets everything. Refine tools. Oh, wait a minute. Not refine tools. I was supposed to be researching these sacred trees and stuff. Do that. Mm. Caravan ambush. Pursue the attackers. This is looking fine. Primitive radio. This counts as victory points, doesn't it? Take them. 15 alliances. Let's try and take their capital. This should be enough. And then we can focus on the divide if there's anything left by that time. We have abandoned cannibalism. It's finally time to open the lucky 38. This is looking fine. We capture grab a territory pants. Come on, get the capital. These guys attack the next another state. We really need to attack them all the week. Scavengers found a spy book. And here we go. We took their capital. Is that enough? It should be enough. No, it isn't. Oh, ah, because we, they retook this bit. Well, I was a bit too hasty, wasn't I? Oh, they're leaving the outpost. Let's get it quickly. Might just be enough. Justification for the divide is ready. I need to attack immediately if I'm hoping to get anything out of it. Attack. I'm gonna send more security ones here, of course, in a bit. Is this enough for you to surrender? Still not. The Battle of Hoover Dam, but that's the first Battle of Hoover Dam. So the NCR is likely to win this, although they are engaged in combat elsewhere, so who knows. Tier 215th is attacking people again. I'm beginning to wonder if I can actually take them. Yeah, I think I can. Although we might want to let them fight some more people before we take them out and get all that territory at once. And they should surrender now. Yes, yes, they will. Excellent. The grabbers are mine. I, of course, take everything. Now, everybody, run to the divide. Perhaps we can get a bit of it before the NCR takes the rest. Although the NCR are our friends, let's say. Our compliance is pretty nice. 63% here. We'll be able to start coring stuff soon. Although that needs a lot of political power. Perhaps the followers of the apocalypse were a mistake. Nah, it's fine. I suppose it's time to choose our next target. I don't want to fight the White Legs or the Aids. I can't access the Soros. Don't want to fight a new Vegas. So we can attack 215th. We can attack... Protectron Security Hub, which are pretty weak, or we can just attack nobody. I think we can't 
attack, protector, and security, and then go after 215, because our front line will be too long, and we don't have a lot of troops. We have good troops, but we don't have a lot of them, unless, of course, we rush and build more. So I'm thinking 215th. I could, of course, wait for them to conquer more stuff, but they conquer and they grow stronger, so we have to choose on the right moment. And I think the right moment is now. Well, justify a war goal on them. Give me TV Town. And we'll send Courier 6 to the 8th, just in case. Demand tribute whom? Oh, the 8th want to raid our lands. We shall not be pushed around. Can I take them if they attack? Oh, they're the 80s, not the 8th. Oh, I don't think I can take them if they attack. Probably should have paid tribute. Huh. We'll see. Got a lot of factories. All will be well. Now, can we, or can we not, get a bit of the divide for us, for ourselves? And let's, uh, let's make them aggressive. The NCR is probably gonna take everything, but uh, we can at least try and get bits. Do we need more manpower? Kinda. Because they want to do outsider battalions, so we can get faster compliance. Growth. The old world wall holds. Now, the one thing I did not consider in my rush to get in on the attack on the divide, and it's quite a big thing, actually. Lucky 38 opens. Nice. Next up, Robco Reborn. See, essentially the AI in this mod, if they have a claim, they attack, which is not something I enjoy, but that's the reality of the situation. And now I've checked, and the NCR has claims on all the Divide territories, which is terrible, because if I take something, they will want to attack me. And I cannot take on the NCR, not yet. So I can't really take anything in this. This is a pointless fight for me. Because we can get some experience, so let's not be aggressive about it, though. Forgot about that in the heat of the moment, but what we can do now is ask the NCR for military access. See, I've done a bit of testing with the mod, just a little bit, but every time someone had a claim on me, they attacked, even if we were friends. So I don't want to risk a fight with the NCR, even though this is very good territory with a lot of factories. Pity. Let's activate the cipher for the divide and prepare to attack these guys here. It's more territory and more factories anyway. Although not much more. I really am sad that the NCR attacked the divide. I wanted it. Next, Robot Doctrine. Yeah, well, we'll just gain some experience, I suppose. Such a waste of resources and time. Boost our construction further with the invention of bricks. Yes, I know it's ahead of time. It should pay off anyway. Oh, we don't have enough manpower for all the garrisons. Let's go down to extensive patrols. Once I have my industry up and running, I might actually use robots for for this purpose. I wonder, would protectrons be better for it? Suppression of four. Suppression... 36, they are more expensive. I can actually check it through here. Protectrons are a terrible way to do it. Militia is the best, but if we don't have the manpower, we could use Securitrons, yes. Three times the equipment cost, but we could. New citizen care package, some tax breaks for factories. Oh, can I change my, where is it? Oh, I can go for every cap for the army. That's awesome. Not everybody for the war machine, but this is good. Uh, okay. Good thing we're fighting the divide then, since, you know, I needed all those factories. God damn it, should have attacked them sooner. Such good territory. Oh well, let's do political bribes. And every cap for the army. Consuming good factories will be a bit better. And two year conscription. I want that manpower. Alright, finish them off. I wish you could do war operations. Well, at least we got some guns, but I wish you could do war operations without puppeting them, because I don't want them as a puppet, but I would like some war operations. I really want to do that. I could take the territory and then release it as independent or something. Maybe then they wouldn't just... You know what? Let's ignore that. Sadly, the NCR has claims everywhere and I just can't. Let's just say we attack them to help the NCR as a good friend would, because we're such a good friend. Sadly, I cannot get everything from... Sadly, I cannot get anything from it. So, confirm an exit. NCR takes everything. I get some equipment, which is something. Let's get ready to kill our next target. Although I would like for them to kill the jackals before that, so I don't have to kill the jackals myself, but they do have a lot of time. Maybe they'll manage. In the meantime, more Securitrons for the war machine. Exercise. Let's do Steel Soldiers. It's another robot manufacturer, and with two of those, I'll be able to research my robots very quickly. Unless there's something else we would like. Hmm. Well, we're researching robots quickly anyway. And this is not a flat bonus, we just get attack instead of defense. Hmm, I actually want this, I think. Because the electronics will let me get my research boosts faster, and construction speed will boost my, you know, other stuff. And we are interested in robot research, but we're getting a lot of that anyway. So, Tulczynski Engineering. There we go. And soon we'll be able to core some states. Not yet, but soon. Oh, well, stability. The pursuit of the caravan people. That's unfortunate. Can it be the jackals before I attack you? Maybe you should wait it until they did. So then the jackals might take territory. Nah, it's fine. I can just beat them afterwards, if it seems necessary. Robco Reborn. 
extra military factories and cheaper support robots if we want to do those. Invest in security drones with a secret meatloaf. Swiss sauce. Nice. Something in Mexico and Texas, we don't really care. Or can we kill Vault City? That would be probably strong. Maybe later. Is Lynette still alive at this time? Probably not. Let's see. Vault City. Oh, she is. We need to kill her. She's evil. No extra Securitrons ready yet. We have 14, sorry, 13 Securitron units. Should be plenty. Extra armor, hardness, and defense. All right. Former New Reno, Chimeran Consensus now. Chief of Thrada the Immortal is attacking Yakuza territories. How strong is Former New Reno? Quite strong. Super mutant platoons. That's, uh, yeah. We're not ready to kill them. We will, but not yet. No, our security got a virus. That's terrible. Right, I got some more manpower. Is it enough to go to Wasteland Pacification? Or is it not? It's not enough. But we are mobilizing. Hmm, it's actually almost enough. Tourism season. We don't really care about that. We'll kill New Reno in, uh, in a different way. Ah, justification's ready. Are you ready? Well, not really. I don't have my cipher yet. I can wait a month. So I'll deploy uh, the two remaining Securitron units, add them to the army, exercise for maybe two or three weeks, so you're ready to attack. These guys do look strong, but they'll be fighting on two fronts. I, I think I can take them. Just to make sure, let's get another boost. Supply consumption reduction or and reinforce rate or planning speed and max planning. Let's take the planning bonus, maybe. Pre-simulated tactics. Not sure if it's a good choice, but let's try it. Divide and conquer. Whoa, what's this? The Mojave territories are smuggling weapons to the families in a possible attempt at coup. That's terrible. Yo, Mojave territories. What are you doing that for? Ah, family diplomacy. That's the one. Oh, well, they. It seems like it's written. It's written as though they don't want war with me. Well, I can take the hit then. No big deal. Stop your exercise. Get ready to attack. Production expansion for Securitrons. Do we want to use sentry bots? I don't think so. Securitrons will be awesome when we get the platinum chip. Anyway, Securitron deployment line. Simple circuitry done. Complicated circuitry. More research speed. Stacking those research speed bonuses. Nicely. That is a point. Who should be a point? Philippe. Follow Diana which is a war with the Lanius cohort. The Legion has sure expanded quite a lot, hasn't it? Packers attacking Arroyo. I want to play as Arroyo sometime. Or as Enclave Remnant, if we can find them anywhere, if there are any. Cypher's decrypted. All right, we declare war on them. We activate the Cypher and move in. Kill them. Kill them good. All right, everything is in the green. Make fast progress. Take their victory points, which are deep in their territory, but still. And at the same time, hope they defeat the jackals before we defeat them. We're just going to let my guys do their own thing. Life giver for this guy. TV town, yay! See, this has a lot of resources. Hmm, even built power stations. I should declare a war on the jackals as well, just in case they're not defeated before we defeat these guys. Just if I on these two bits, maybe? Just in case one falls. They will be, you know, damaged by the fighting. Brotherhood is attacking people. If we defeat uh, the 215th before jackals are defeated, the jackals will get a bit of territory, and I'm not sharing this territory. Oh, and we have almost defeated them. And it's over. Who has the most score? I have the most score. I'll take everything. Well, I probably can't take everything, but I'll take what I can get. Actually, what I will take is a direct path to their territory to cut them off. And TV town. Is that a good choice, or should I just progress normally? I should just progress normally. Let's not mess with supply lines. Let's do it like this. And claim everything, because we can, probably. And fight for everything. Because with 68% war score, we might actually manage to take everything. Darkest side of the new peace conference system. But it works for me. It's in my favor. So, yay. Yeah, that's fine. Confirm an exit. A jewel in our crown. We have conquered a node. It's it's disabled. Why is it disabled? Is it subservient to my node now? Mm, I don't know. Maybe we need to core it first. That would make sense. Anyways, 50 factories, but we're getting compliance up real quick, usually. Now, the jackals are a good target. They're tired of war. Not that strong. Maybe not the best target, but I am already justifying on them. So let's lean into the blow. They want tribute from Yakuza territories, want tribute from me. But Yakuza territories are about to be killed. Don't be stupid. If you want to attack me, I welcome it. Well, not really, because then I probably would need to fight New Reno. I don't want to do that yet. Oh yeah, Cypher. I forgot about the Cypher. 160 days, whoa. Guess I'll work on it, but it's probably not going to be ready in time. We should be able to start coring stuff. North Passage, for example. But maybe I'll just set the laws up first, and then we can start spending the political power that way. I'm going to legalize cams because... Chems illegal in New Vegas just seem wrong. Secure returns for everybody.
The 80s declared war on New Hammond. Where's New Hammond? Here. I wish they would fight the White Legs because they're my two biggest threats on this side. What's this? What the hell is that? Some furry nation? Can I kill them? Yes, they're very weak. Well, you're next. 80s attack another. Oh, sorry, that's the White Legs. Yeah, these guys are getting aggressive. I should probably anticipate some fighting between us. Security on deployment line. Ready. Expand deployment. Is that Guardian Citadel? What if I enable this? We've enabled it, and what now? We can do new trade routes. To New Reno, for example. Although I'm likely to fight them eventually. How about New Canaan? That should be a safer route for us. New Reno is not a friend. Can we get some extra money from it? Chained Choir. Lost Patrol. I have no idea what those nations are. Dedicated factories done. Let's research some other stuff that can be useful, like extra generators. Do we have enough manpower for the garrisons? No. Well, sadly, I have to reduce this. Extensive patrols. Because we did take a lot of territory. Is it still not enough? No, looks like it is enough. Extra Securitrons. To the front lines. Toughen the robot frame. Hey, drug trade. We're almost ready. Okay then, I guess. Prepared? Yes, yes you are. Deploy. Extra Securitrons for you. They're not trained up, but they're equipped. Declare war. So I should go cautious. Yeah, balance this fine. New Vegas expands again. And we haven't even received a platinum chip yet. This is good. Way out in the land of the setting sun. Looks kind of like Vault City. What's this? Okay. Vault City creates the Nevada Pact. Let me see. We haven't invited anyone to it yet. This attack is going well enough. What's my caps? I'm not earning a lot of caps, to be honest. Not a lot at all. But I'm earning enough. I could earn much more, but that would reduce my political power, and I like my political power. Well, really? Ah, oh, this costs too much manpower. I could get a factory, but it would cost me a lot of manpower, so, um, no. I think I could get manpower from this, to counterbalance it. Hmm, we'll see. Damn it, out of manpower again. Right, let's go down from extensive patrols to road patrols. We're not going to incorporate states as quickly. Hayes elected president of the NCR. Let's invest in robots some more. Alright, we're about to win this one. So, time to justify on another one. Let's destroy the furries. 155 days, that's a bit long. I have no idea what this is. How did it get to Fallout? Well, must have been mutated by something. I really regret not getting the divide. Oh well, you would have unearthed such treasures. Let's go after the Protector and Security Hub then. Level 6, nice. Special Ops, can we have Special Ops? Probably not. Let's do Awareness. Plus 100% Reconnaissance. What is your Reconnaissance anyway? Do you have any? Zero. In retrospect, not a good choice. I'll we'll have to give them some support companies or something. And that can wait. Refined Construction of the Securitron. Combat Simulations. Extra Planning. Hmm, this guy's probably doing better. He's level 6. This guy has some bonuses, but... Probably not worth it. We're fighting the Yakuza territories. Maybe it's a good moment to attack them. Yeah, that's a lot of factories. And a lot of people with super mutant platoons. Now I'm not ready to take on New Reno. They're a major player. How about Vault City, though? We could probably take them. But if we have easier targets, we should attack easier targets. Drug trade profits. Should you guys be surrendering already? Almost there. More smelting, more power, more everything. Surrender? Yeah, they do. Secure drones for the win. Take everything. We're getting a lot of territory, which is not, not good territory. Once again, crying about the divide. But we're still getting somewhere, and we got TV Town, which is a gold mine. Well, not literally, but almost. Should I just industrialize all the wasteland, just build extra infrastructure everywhere, or only in places that matter? Ooh, TV Town has maximum infrastructure. There's a build factories there. So, how's my cryptology? How long would that take? Well, you have good cryptography here. No, it's not. Actually, I'm gonna decrypt the biggest threats around me. Deploy some Securitrons. And take over the Protectron factories. Out of manpower again, really. I'm right down to caravan guards, sadly. Let's do military styling bonuses. Because we do have the caps and we need the manpower. Now, yeah. political decisions. Let's do petty criminal conscripts. That will give us some more people. We also want to recruit ghouls and super mutants. Yeah. Why not? Let's not be racist. I don't remember. Are ghouls allowed in New Vegas? I can't remember. Rats. More rat infestation. That's unfortunate. Is it time for the platinum chip yet? No. But in a year, if Mojave territories have completed the secret most profound, let's see if they have. Oh, it's this. They have not completed that focus. No, not yet. One more Securitron for the army for now. I will spawn extra units with this. What if I expand the unit itself? It's like this. Will they be spawned extra? Could trade army experience for extra robots. Hmm. Now let's not mess with it. It's been working so far. We can expand them to bigger battalions later, if we so choose. Tourism season. Don't care. How's the progress in here? Terrible. Oh, nice income. First batch of Securitrons secured. Well, first, I've produced a lot, but that is fine. Command and control and support robots, we don't really need them at the moment. I think it's time to invest in the Vegas 
sewer system. And again, the later I do this, the more infrastructure I get from it. All these are unimportant for my current plans. War labs and just like the simulations could be useful. So let's do small arms innovation. The army experience will come in handy. Justification almost ready. Stop your exercise. And also, what's this? What's this template? Oh, that's a bigger security drone unit. Nice. You can join this unit leader. Of course. A robotics expert. Get organized. History repeats itself. Super mutants and stuff. We don't really care. Start justifying on this tiny nation of furries. Open to humans. Sure. This will take forever, but that's fine. The raccoon people will join us in New Vegas. They can be tiny butlers. So it looks like a well-defended territory. But protections are inferior to Securitrons. Better training, more division organization. Are you ready to go? Almost. Yeah, let's attack. Looking good at the initial strike. Not as good as I expected in some cases, but we are making progress. So we'll take the bloody springs. Will I have to defend against any tribes in the near future to have claims on me? No, might be time to eliminate the 80s and the white legs soonish. No, not yet. Not strong enough. Yakuza is fighting these guys. At least it will keep them contained for a while. This is good. 6.7 Securitrons a day. That's a lot of Securitrons. Perhaps I should be puppeting all these countries because they have all their own bonuses. Let's just go direct control. For now. Protectron. We got a lot of Protectrons. Nice. Submit demands, take everything. On permanent exit. Looks like I have some support robots I could use. Scrapbots and Protectrons. I'm going to try and use Securitrons for this. Not just yet though, I will need way more. Although, we can check. We need to switch to Securitron divisions here and see how much we need in the logistics screen or reinforcement or whatever. Put it on pause. A lot. 800 security robots are needed. And if we wanted to do wasteland pacification, how much would we need? 3,000 Securitrons for this. No. Back to militia it is. Can we do something better with this? Can I create like a cavalry division? I don't think we have horses here. No, militia is very good at suppression, apparently. Wait a minute. Where did I get this in from? Ah, oh, strip security. It displays as a different one. I should probably upgrade my Securitrons to this template. It's the same, just bigger. But not yet. It's working well for us the way we're doing it. Imminent raid from Yakuza territory. Really? Doesn't seem to make much sense, as the Yakuza territories are being killed right now. But if you say imminent raid, I'm gonna believe you. If they really attack, they'll have a nasty surprise of lots of Securitrons. Better circuitry. Small arms invasions. Out of strip politics, please. Are you really gonna do a raid? That would seem very stupid. Okay. Vault City is now allied with what used to be New Rena, which seems weird because they were actually bitter rivals. This definitely makes them more dangerous, and we do not want to mess with them yet. What's that? It was like a border war. Oh, I hate those. I have normal troops here. Raid repelled, of course. No, we're not gonna be building outposts. Are you done with the raid? You seem to be. We're gonna get the next anyway. Take the furries out. Then we can go against the Elko Posse. And maybe even the Badland Bookaroos. What's Troll Warren? Whoa, mutants. Be dangerous. Secure drone got virus. Veteran training instructors. Shifty. Robot reflexes. Hmm, actually, I might be able to. Secure the Western with Securitrons if this continues growing so nicely. Switch everyone to the Securitron division because it looks cooler. We can expand it later. Do we want a full army group? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Now, we have a choice. Standardized blueprints or direct control. These re require us to use CNC robots, don't they? Yeah, you know I think direct control is gonna give us more boosts, so let's do that one. Should I or should I not boost infrastructure everywhere? See, I don't need to, but it will be fun. Oh, I can't boost infrastructure to the maximum. Rather, I shouldn't, because we'll get some from a focus. No, no, we'll just do factories in the area. We're gonna call these eventually. Well, soon, actually. Yeah, just do factories for now. Strange places. Investigate some rumors. Development project? What is this? Crescent Dunes project. I have no idea what this is. Airbase, air technology, extra power. Oh, that's Helios 1? No. Sorry, that's a solar power plant. Maybe later. Send out some prospectors. Definitely new citizen care package. How's the compliant? Whoa, that's some high resistance I got here. Why is it so high? Let's try road patrols. And call some territories. Call the North Passage. Call the Desert Pass. Call anything else? Not yet. So, oh, it's cores. It's a core now. This should disappear soon. Brawling in the sewers will happen. Drug income. Lanius expanding. Should probably replace Benny with Michelangelo. Sisters of Steel, where's that? Attacking a bunch of people. Justification is ready. Attack. Do it quick. 
They're <laughs> actually raccoons with crowbars. Yeah, I'm gonna make little butlers for the casinos out of you guys. Of course, take everything. Perhaps I should have been puppeting the countries around me. Not sure. Right, who's our next target? We go against one of the big targets. Well, they are big, which is the problem. How about the Elko Posse? 100 days. Because just 100 days. Okay then, Chichen Itzen Empire. Huh. Cool. Rolling in the sewers, what can we get? New Vegas, extra development. We have a lot of development in the node, don't we? I think it's maxed out. Yeah, it seems like it. So we can get three building slots, nice. I mean, it's not worth a focus. I was hoping more would come of it. Oh, we can't build more civilian workshops here? Maximum level reach, that's weird. Well, I don't need more power stations. I have enough power. Let's make military ones then. This is core. Oh, can I call this Area 51 now? I can. Excellent, let's do that. Four extra factories for this. I misread it earlier. I can do the platinum chip in January if they do not do the focus I was talking about. And that's a secret most profound. It was down here somewhere. Oh, I don't know which ones they've done. Because my network is not strong enough. Maybe we should get a network there. Well, it's not gonna do much. Probably attack Badon Bakaroos after this. Uh, my decryption going was the former New Reno. I don't intend to fight them anytime soon. How about we just do the Elko Posse for now? Oh, wait a minute. This focus does nothing because I have no free slots in Vegas? When I was looking around, it earlier, I think it gave factories. Oh. All right. I think it's time for the rapid response network. Wanted to delay it as much as possible because we'll get free infrastructure everywhere. But I think it's about time. More population. Increased production capacity. What do you want? More military factories. Sure. How many? Five more. That's a lot. I'm already building three, so just two more is not that much. This will do. Some territory to core. What do we have that's coreable? Yeah, I guess we'll go this way. No, we want to go towards the TV town. Doesn't really matter. Let's just do everything we can. Grand Canyon. Old World Blues, which means we find nothing. I'm not missing power, we actually have a lot of it, but let's restore the Crescent Dunes project. And our manpower should be fine once we core all those territories. Might want to invite some mutants. Try actual extensive patrols. Now, two things we might still want to change is the conscripts. Increases attack and war support, and allowing in mutants. Reduces recovery and organization, but increases population and reduces attrition supply consumption for the divisions. I'm mostly concerned with the population factor, although we are dealing with it. Also, it would be nice to have a cosmopolitan New Vegas with all the mutants and such. Myrlurk tribe. They're actual Myrlurk. God damn it. Really? Ancient Age Tools Grand Reopening. And we got a lot of infrastructure everywhere. Better shacks. I have no idea how to navigate this. Let's just ignore it for now. We have other stuff to fulfill. Yakuza are still standing, but not for long. Bikers are attacking. San Francisco chapter. That's pretty big. Might be quite strong too. With the paladins and all that. Eastern Grand Canyon. Core. Badlands. Core. Give me manpower. We're missing five manpower. Which is not too bad. 2k securitrons almost. Human commanders. Sure. Justification complete. Let's go after the Bakaroos after this. Should be easy, so I'm justifying already. And declare. Go. I can always mm, deploy more securitrons because we have large reserves. This will be easy. Assembly lines. Almost 10 securitrons a day. More sand. And sand gets everywhere. More prospectors, please. Ah, god damn it. I took a small break and forgot to click record, but not much happened. We just conquered the buckaroos. The real big thing is about to happen now. Because we're researching, finally, the platinum chip, because the time has come. Well, provided the Mojave territories do not stop me from doing it in the meantime. Also, I have finally enacted Recruit or Mutants. Probably not the best choice from division, organization and such perspective. But, role-playing, I just want to recruit ghouls and mutants. Because I want to. Also, the White Legs and... New Canaan are fighting, which might be a prime opportunity to take out the White Legs. However, I think I'm gonna wait for the Platinum Chip and see what comes with it. Not sure if I was still recording, but I also upgraded my security chance to 12 with. Prism Season, we don't care. Should I just max out infrastructure to be good to my people? Yeah, why not? I can afford to. Because I think it contributes to income from caravans and such. Exercise the security drones a bit. Come on, give me the Platinum Chip. Power Surge, that's fine. And Death Cross ate most of our scavenger team, that's very unfortunate. Investigate some rumors about old world stuff. Better extraction methods, please. What are the white legs doing against New Canaan? Actually, they're doing well, but if I attack them from the other side, they will not stand a chance. Also, self-repair for our robots. Military academy training. Or better organization. And I think that concludes what I want to do here. I guess I'll fire Benny and replace him with... Michelangelo when we have the political power. And afterwards, I think we're good on all the policies. I'd get some Air Force and such, but that comes later. Right, Platinum Chip, Expedient Delivery. Do we do an offer to the Lost Hills or delayed delivery? Let's try and make an offer. They reject. Delivery will be suspended, unfortunately. 
It's a pity. What was the Warlabs then? And since it's gonna take a while, it's time for the White Legs to die. 2k extra Securitrons. Should we deploy more? Yes, I think so. Oh, alright, alright. The 80s are justifying war on me. Let's stop justifying against the White Legs. We have another target coming in for the slaughter. If you wanna die, be my guest. Oh wait, this is the tributary, isn't it? We'll be fighting too. That's fine. I have a lot of Securitrons getting ready to fight you. Whoops, we just messed something up. I think I can handle them. Deploy them up here and join this attack. Do I have their cipher? Not yet, but I will. In 35 days only. To maximize intel in their territory. Age of the machine. Deploy Securitrons as soon as we can. All deployed. Now, when will your justification be ready? In a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is exercise all of you before the time comes. Core Crystal Springs. Our core territory is expanding fast. Yeah, I should have enough Securitrons for everyone. Imminent raid from Yakuza, which is just silly. Troll Warrens attacking who? These guys here. Not my problem. Got your cipher. Alright, change some stuff around. We'll see how this works out. New citizen care package. As usual. Should be able to handle the 80s, shouldn't I? Yeah, for sure. Oh, I should do this. Thruster engines for the robots. Land doctrine bonuses. Advanced tools. Oh, we don't have enough composite materials. Can I get some with infrastructure? Not really, not from here. I think we can get some from this better extraction, which is being researched. So we'll be okay. How's the exercise? Okay. Yeah, imminent raid. Yeah, whatever. I can buy this from Caesar's Legion. Let's buy it from the NCR instead. White legs attacking Eagle Rock. So, so we're fighting New Canaan and attacking more people at the same time. Not a very smart choice, I think. Delayed delivery. Oh, delayed del I got it. Replace stable OS with platinum OS. Extra organization, attack and defense. Losing some research speed. Finally. Excellent. Now this opens up some avenues. The vault and a new world order and all that. We'll get to that in a moment. With this I should be able to... Where is it? Yeah, boost my Securitrons. Those are amazing boosts. Double hit points. Those are not exclusive, are they? Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Should probably do this right now. Stop all other research. Or at least most other research. Let's, let's do that. Research that. And research the other one. And the third one too. All the Securitron boosts. They're gonna be unstoppable in a moment. 15 Securitrons a day. No composite materials anywhere? No. 55 days before they attack me. How long until I get my security on upgrades? 81 days. Let's set them on cautious until we get the upgrades at least. And then our forces will be unstoppable. Well, they will be stoppable, just not easily so. Anything to core? Yes. City 318. Adavan and Rachel don't have the points for that. Two extra factories for this. We can do the security on the vault now. I wonder how many are in there. Will this be an easy fight? Probably not. A thousand backup Securitrons. This this is enough on the front lines, I think. I can deploy more if I need to. This might suffice. Second Battle of Hoover Dam already. Not too early. Let's see who wins. I think the NCR will. Another forbidden pre-war base. Excellent. So we get... What do we get? Excavate uh, the lab. Area 51. Oh, that's Area 51. Sure, let's excavate the lab. And send out prospectors. And tax breaks for factories. Tourism season. Not important. They're almost ready with the war goal. And they are almost ready with the war goal. Right, let's see if they attack. They probably will. We are ready for them. Will you attack? Age of the machine. Excellent. I'm not sure why I would do this. This actually reduces my organization. Frontline platoons includes security robots and this also reduces the organization. So we actually lose five organization with this technology. I'm not sure why I would do that. Let's just not finish the thruster engine, although that will burn a bonus, so maybe something more advanced. Yeah, it's not important. Let's get it now. We'll get six research slots soon, and they do declare war. Let's have a look. What are you calling in your puppet? You have not, but I shall call them in for you. All right, this is looking acceptable, and I am on cautious. That is definitely fine. A little bit of difficulty around here. How many factories do you have anyway? 8 to 12 and 44 for you. Well, we're gonna expand ourselves quite significantly with this life giver. All right, what's going on here? Securitron Vault, Benny's infiltration or a firefight? Hmm. Should we send in a task force or just infiltrate? Benny is capable, but no, let's try a distraction. Oh, there's a chance the vault will burn. No, 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 full assault. It's gonna cost me a lot of manpower, but we get the Securitron army. How much do we get? Securitrons all over the dam. Production cost minus 15%, that's great. And that gives me 10 divisions of Securitrons, which is actually not that much. That's the same template I'm using, more or less. Well, let's switch it. So we're using the same one on everyone. And make a new army with those. So what's gonna happen with the Hoover Dam? Can't do New World Order just yet. 
I guess I'll rebuild the sewers. This guy. Robotic expert. Where is that? The lone wolf was a mistake. Extra secure drones here. The main boost is this has reduced production costs, which is wonderful. Buy some more resources from New California. Now we're doing pretty well, advancing and all that. And in four days, we should probably see. This is going to double. This will be plus 50%, I think. Same with defense. So they're just gonna smash everything. Aren't they? And suddenly, oh right, I forgot. Yes, we've boosted them. And I forgot to use the Cypher too, haven't I? Well, let's use it immediately. And now, they pose no threat to us whatsoever. It's like no resistance. So beautiful. Switch to balanced. See? No threat whatsoever. Of course, some stuff. Of course, some more stuff. Shouldn't have attacked me. Oh, I need sophisticated robotics tech. Don't have that one yet. Let's research these two, because I'll need bonuses that will become available later. Brick houses. Research that. Simply excellent. And to think I was worried about them. Should go after the white legs after that. But I want to do new world order and it requires me to be at peace. Got some decryption done. Oh, the Legion has breached NCR defenses in Cottonwood Cove. Will they manage? The dam is holding, the other bit is not. Can I handle Cecil's Legion with my new Securitrons? Probably not yet. Fertilizer from Brahmin. Air technology stand security solution schematics. What is that? Because there are some special technologies you can access through here. Pre-war business is unlocked. Well, I have Robco, which is better for my purposes. And they surrender. And I shall take and take and take everything. Excellent. We don't have insufficient manpower for garrisons, sadly. Let's get this guy into Savan. Well, I have to find the Legion. My might. We'll see. We've rebuilt the Vegas sewage system, which will help with our manpower issues. New world order. Clark's demise. Not sure what that is, but it's screaming. We'll get these unlocked later. Sign up bonuses for the military. And by grain. More population. And more cores, please. Mount Jefferson, that's fine. We're just progressing with our core ring wherever we go. I'd like to take the Hoover Dam. I was hoping they would push Caesar back. Ooh, yeah, this boosts everyone. Let's do that one. Do some spying, please. Will I have to fight them, or will they give it to me? The bear's last meal. Her <laughs> roses are red, violets are blue. We're going to send Securitrons after you. Will you attack me? Stupidly, NCR. They do have a war goal. Take New Vegas from New Vegas. Let's send this little dude here to secure our border. Another army of Securitrons, please. Are you really going to attack me? Well, if you do, you will not succeed, but let's make sure we have the planning bonus for it. Better tools, please. Caesar is doing well. Oh, I'm going to research everything in this bit and see if un it unlocks the sophisticated option. New world order complete. Do we get an event for that or something? Let's get the Hoover Dam claim. Well, I actually have to fight them for it. Career tactics. Looks like the NCR might be, uh, might be for the taking. Will you attack me? Please attack me. Something to core. Oh yes, of course. Outpost Quinn, Mount Jefferson, and it will suffice for now. Actually, let's make that 30. Better radio. You, go to NCR. Decrypt everyone. So are you gonna attack or not? Perhaps I should be the attacker. Deploy secure drones. Robotics expert. Of course. Oh, and we can do reduce, reuse, recycle. Or extra recovery rate. Can I actually conquer the NCR? That would be something. We'd be doing it alongside Caesar's Legion. I'd not want to reject help like this. Secure the Southern Mojave. To broken steel too. Do we need that? I'm not sure. Let's do it. Care package. Better organization. Let's uh, research recon. Let's call some stuff. I haven't called TV Town yet. I should. I think we have to go after the NCR. They're fighting a lot of people and they have a work on me anyway because they can't be trusted. Caesar's terrible but he hadn't made a move on me yet. So let's get on decrypting New California. Better radio please. And I can't do better tools. My industry is not sophisticated enough apparently. That's a pity. I'm gonna research some support companies. We'll see if we use them. Stop the exercise. Okay, so I have the manpower, right? I have this prioritized. So why is it not going there? But I just redo the training regimen. That's a bit better. I can justify myself in the fact that they demanded my submission. I shall not submit. It is time. We shall take a Hoover Dam. What in the goddamn? Head of the chairman has risen up against Mr. House. Really? Really? Civil War? Seriously? Well, that's a, just a tiny bit of New Vegas. Do you have any troops? They do have some troops. How could you take security on? I have the platinum chip. Yes, man, couldn't do anything. This is, doesn't make much sense, does it? Do I need a field marshal? A new one? Oh, wait a minute, he's still my field marshal. No, no, that's not him. Melee hacker. Right, you take care of that silly uprising. You don't have my bonuses, do you? Chairman, followers of the apocalypse, Platinum OS. Do you have the technologies necessary? Probably not. See, I, I don't really like this. Because Mr. House has direct control of the Securitrons, this wouldn't happen. But you know what? Doesn't really matter. Why are you guys not attacking here? Get me the dam. Corruption in New Vegas. will support or political power? We can spend political power on this. 
Get aggressive, everybody. Lots some organization, not sure why, but it doesn't really matter. Shall eradicate Benny's uprising. Mojave Territories has capitulated. That was quick. But did I get the dam? Do I have the dam or does Caesar have the dam? I can't click it. Looks like I do. Hey, Caesar, wanna give me military access, stupidly? Yes, you do. Oh, and a non-aggression pact. And he would even want me to join his faction. Well, that would be silly, wouldn't it? Who would want to join Caesar? A non-aggression pact is a different matter. Why can you guys kill Benny for me already? Right, Benny has been removed as an advisor. Let's get Michelangelo. Benny, that snake. Now, if I have a claim for this, will this go to me once it's conquered? Even if I'm going from Caesar's territory? Not sure. Okay, they surrendered. Wait a minute. This should go to me automatically. I only have 22%. That's my territory, so it'll be cheap. Now, I definitely want Hoover Dam. Did I click it? Yes. And access to said Hoover Dam. My descent has actually took more. We'll get that in a moment. You know what? Caesar will not get this. Let's leave this for later. This is a less important. I want Hidden Valley. It's an expensive. Hidden Valley is very expensive. Right, so I'm going to cancel these of mine. No, they're very cheap. They will remain cheap for me. One day. It's fine. Let's take our stuff. And then we'll fight for control with Caesar. Some demands. Once Boulder City in uh, Hoover Dam, I disagree. I also want Hidden Valley, definitely. And what else are you taking? I want Helios 1. So let's try and contest Route 55. So we can get all the crossings here, maybe. Some demands. Contest everything. Definitely need Hidden Valley. Black Mountain uh, would be nice, but it's not necessary. Do want Vault 3. And Hidden Valley and access to Hidden Valley. This should be good. If I can manage to get it all. Should contest as much as I can. But we get Black Mountain to boot. And Bitter Springs. Where's the long 15 and do I need it? It's here. I don't need it. Do I need Nipton? No. Cottonwood Cove? Not really. I, don't, I would like a good Springs. And let's take Needles just for future negotiations. Submit demands. Keep demanding. Actually, I might get more than I thought I would. If I could get Cottonwood Cove, that would help secure stuff. Let's try this. I actually get everything. With 22%, how is that possible? Or will we just be contesting them forever? It's possible that we'll just be contesting them forever. But the longer I hold them, the more expensive it will be for Caesar. This actually looks good for me, if he's not using all his points. We'll keep fighting for good springs, and he'll probably get one. that one. No, he didn't. He has a lot of score left and didn't get the territory. Well, that's good for me. I got Mojave, and I'm not at war with the NCR. Somehow. He is. And he can focus on that. Okay, excellent. Confirm an exit. We have taken Hoover Dam. And the Hoover Dam is producing huge amounts of power for us. It is necessary since we need to power those Securitrons. And we did finish the Silly Civil War. Didn't particularly like that one. Let's make more Securitrons. We have 61. Let's go to 100. Of course, deploy them in New Vegas. Right, get out, Caesar. Broken steel bypassed. Clean the suburbs bypassed. Ah, architect of destiny. Two research slots. New Vegas, Hoover Dam, and Helios 1. Now, we can very, very cheaply repair the next turbine on the Hoover Dam. Let's do that. Now, will Caesar want to attack me? I have a non-aggression pact, and if he does, I think I can stand up to him. And yeah, do you hate me? Surprisingly, no. Even though I annexed your stuff. Oh, should we fight them? We probably shouldn't. I mean... I think we're stronger, and they are fighting Caesar. It might be a good opportunity, but I should consolidate my power now. We need more, what's that? Advanced components. No worries. I can get them all over the place. Especially Hidden Valley. There's too many Securitrons here, so I can't click anything. Okay, good. Platoon training complete. I'm lowering the patrols, so we can have manpower. we got planes, nice. That's a lot of resistance, isn't it? Oh yeah. At least it's going down. Let's lower that to road patrols. Enough manpower, suddenly. Almost enough. Boost infrastructure. Get resources. Soon enough we'll get them. In the meantime, we'll just buy what we need. From Caesar. 170 factories. Should I conquer the silly legs? Alright, go down to Carven Gods. Spread the outposts on the ones that have full compliance. Yakuza is still alive. Huh. New California is clearly losing, but my army is not ready. Yeah, Yakuza right, whatever. Doesn't matter at all. Deploy secure drones. Let's not use the lone wolf. It was a waste of time. Yeah, this guy. Chubby face. Maxing out civilian factories, because that's what I always do. Extra decryption. Van Graaf. I don't care about the Van Graafs. So if I were to justify a war goal on you, how long would it take? 45. Yeah, you did steal the divide from under me, didn't you? But my security drones are not ready yet. They will be soon. Architect of Destiny complete. Excellent. And we have sophisticated robotics tech and two more research slots. Excellent. Let's get on researching, shall we? Extra breakthrough. Extra piercing. Where are you allied with again? NCR. We have a border up here. We do. Okay then. The NCR is in a bad spot and we should make use of that. They did threaten us, so we are justified in this. The go left order. The divide shall be mine again. Helios reborn. So what planes do we have? Two planes. Join my group. 
go after the NCR more. If he says Legion shouldn't attack me in the near future. Now do you want to add support stuff? Recon will take a lot of manpower. That will be quite useful about maintenance. I should definitely add recon and such. But first let's make sure that the entire army group is deployed and ready. Or do I need to wait for this? They're clearly unprepared. I'm gonna conquer Hopeville because that's what you've taken from me. Goodbye NCR. My security drones can take you. Imminent raid from Yakuza, we don't care. How are you alive? Really? Trade with Caesar. And they are fighting on many, many fronts. Plus your drones. Okay, are they bringing in defenses? They are. Indeed. Let's go balanced then. Or maybe even cautious. Why not? No need to overextend ourselves. Can you stop me, NCR? I don't think so. You can't stop Caesar. If I attack two, I don't think you can handle me. Cooling systems for the robots. Hmm, be balanced. Balanced is the best. Full army group of Securitrons in the field. Not trained up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot about this bit. Would have been bad, wouldn't it? We still have a moment to fix it. Will you survive New California? I don't think you will. Shouldn't have threatened me. See? Caesar's smart. He knows not to mess with me. Helios, reborn. Do I need more power? No, I have lots of power. Perhaps we should make Vegas Prime. Let's go down that path. Let's go. It's time. NCR, tremble before me. And looking good. Navarro territory is not a problem. Someone else, not a problem. Oh, that's some quick progress down here. The Platinum OS is definitely doing its job. Those new Securitrons are amazing. What is my participation? Oh, it's a separate war, I wonder. Tourism season, doesn't matter. I'm conquering New California here, who cares about tourism? Better robot chassis and extra speed reliability and organization for my Securitrons. See, not even aggressive. And they're moving like a flood. Shady sands are gonna be mine. Now that's a big bit of territory. In the meantime, can we core some stuff, please? Like core TV town. Too much resistance. Well, that'll go down eventually. Let's core what we can. Doesn't really matter which ones. We'll core it all eventually. Having supply issues? Ah, Hoover Dam power. San Francisco chapter and all the others here have signed a white piece. I think I'll cut them off from Caesar. Get more of that territory. The fall of Shady Sands. They must sue for peace soon. I do hope so. There's no reason to prolong this. You'll be happy under my new management. Securitrons everywhere. Never should have messed with a pre-war immortal genius. Okay, this is looking very good. We'll need to take a lot of victory points for them to fall. Secret meatloaf. A weird moment to spring that, but it's fine. Mr. Gutsy and Mr. Blasto. Sentry bot. Mr. Gutsy sergeant. With all that industry, well, let's just say Caesar will not be a threat to me. Economic resurgence. Shady Sands node. Oh, right, yeah, we got another node. Nice. Uh, where are Shady Sands? Here. Begin a new route to where? About New Vegas. I can just wait until the end of the war. You guys got cut off. How stupid are you? No, 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 no. You need to go back and reconnect. You're doing good though. Hmm. Do we want more armies in this army group? We did have to get a new field marshal because the civil war took the other one away. Now let's take Sneering Imperialist. Life giver for everybody. And continue. Yeah, can you guys please reconnect to our territories? We should have some supply, Grace. Getting separated like this was uh, rather silly of you. Well, the air can only do so much without supervision, but still. Hey, do you like me, you guys? You don't, so we won't get military access. I might just lose an entire group of... Uh, an entire army of Securitrons. Would be very disappointing. I know what I can do. I can take an army from here and reassign it over here to get these guys out of trouble. And since we're out of the mountains, the remaining three armies can use a field marshal level order. No, no, no. Only from our own territory. Well, the bonehead's huge, isn't it? And attack towards the sea. Go. Oh yeah, and take junk town. Are these guys gonna survive? Unlikely. You attack aggressively. Connect them quickly. Save my army. Great race. First race, race of Tucson. It's here. Ah, and they surrender. New California Republic surrendered. And the Legion has the majority score, but we still do get a lot. So what do we take? Well, of course, we try and take as much as possible. I definitely want the divide. There's a lot of everything. And Shady Sands. I'm just gonna try and take everything. And then we'll see what we end up with. Can I cheat Caesar out of any territory? That would be cool. Right, that's all we can take for the round. Submit demands. Contest everything, of course. And contest everything that Caesar has taken. The hub, for example. And with how AI behaves in this, we might actually manage to get everything. It's possible, not likely, but possible. Did you take anything from the other state? No, not yet. Okay. Then we continue taking Quartz Hill as much as we can. Submit demands, contest everything, and trying to take, try to contest the stuff he takes. With how the, mm, the costs work, this might enable us to, you know, outlast him, even though he has more points, because the AI is used to doing it in five rounds, and we have ten rounds now. Which is actually good, because there wasn't enough uh, points for everything previously, sometimes, if stuff was contested. But, 
You can actually cheat the AI a little bit like this. Ah, didn't manage to get everything from the Baja state. Perhaps next round. Submit, contest everything, can I contest everything on the other state. Submit the bands. Can I actually afford to keep contesting them? Yes, I can. The AI will forfeit some stuff and press on the other stuff, but if I forfeit nothing, well then, we should get everything. I can even get ships. Should be interesting, but uh, not a pressing matter. Give me all of it. And keep repeating that until... Caesar doesn't ask for anything. See, he asks for less and less each time. If you have sufficient score, you can actually pull this off, even if you're not the majority score holder. Just need to keep contesting all that he wants. All right, I took everything. All of it. Caesar gets nothing. <laughs> now we can also get all the ships. Let's do that. Oh, and all screening ships from the small state. Confirm an exit. Imminent raid. Yeah, I'm so scared. From the Yakuza. Well, New Vegas has gone big, hasn't it? All thanks to my awesome Securitrons. You're gonna fight me now? Caesar, you cannot compete with Mr. House. Then pause for a moment. Hey, we even got dockyards. Convoys, please. I need extra materials. Fortunately, the Legion provides. Was the last thing we should do. Now, we've kinda made friends with Caesar. But if he doesn't want to be friends, we can quite easily hold the crossings from him. And probably invite him right back. The House always wins. We're the strongest power in the world. Well in this part of the world right now. Should we become the only great power? Yes, I think we should. Let's see if Caesar leaves us alone. In the meantime, I have other targets. Lynette, I'm coming for you. Do not stand in the fountains. Vault City is about to experience an invasion. Should have played nice with Gecko. We have enough Securitrons. Almost. All right, get in position. How about the garrison? It's actually fine. Everything that has 100% compliance gets sporadic outposts. And the rest gets the default one. Well, 90%. Actually, you can get sporadic outposts too. It's going to, you know, lower the garrison requirement a bit. Ease up on that manpower. And all the rest can actually get road patrols. And I can get some cores. Broken Lodge. Fine. Can you ask the core? Resistance seems to be too high. It'll go down. Eventually. Our guy got a virus. Oh, right, I was supposed to justify. Wasn't I? Who should we attack? I'm thinking Vault City, because Lynette. Lynette needs to die. Get it in position, everybody. Well, our trade is disabled. Can I enable that? Or will they just do it on their own? I think they'll do it on their own. Raid repelled, whatever. It does not matter. Military sign-in bonuses. Give me the manpower and invest in... Should we invest in Military Academy? Nah. What we should invest in is this extra boost for robots. But we can't afford it yet. Mr. Blasto. Our industry is maxed out, sadly. Engineering? Not yet. Economic resurgence. Should we start doing caravans and such? Get some more cores. TV Town needs specification. Now, the trade nodes. All the ones we now own. How can you do so many trade routes? Now, we only have one available. To North Phoenix, why not? Cisco. Uh, the route to New Reno gives me zero money. Let's start new routes. Create a new one. Not sure if this is working as intended. That's one profitable route. New Canaan one. Robobrain strategists. Are we ready to attack Vault City? Not yet. New Canaan in flames. And the White Legs took it. That is... I could have saved them, yes. But see, we have a rivalry with New Reno, so this takes precedent. Where's the precedence? Whatever, it's more important. Stop the exercise. Attack. I say attack. Lost Hills demand terror. Yeah, right. Lost Hills, really? Lost Hills bunker. You even have any troops? You do have some troops, yes. Maybe they will attack me. Okay, yeah, car package. Cars for new citizens. And uh, no. let's make a new army of Securitrons for Lost Hills. Reassign some troops down here. I'm not sure I should be training another army. Let's cancel that. Corruption in New Vegas. Do we care? Hmm. Decrease political power a bit. Fill up engineering. Fill up industry. I don't really have much stuff left to research. Since robotics are underway, industry is done. We could either do Air Force or stuff like infantry for when we finally get some manpower free. I guess I'll do that. All right. We have our war goal on Vault City. Time to attack? Let's go. They're allied to form a new Reno and a new Klamath, which might get called in in a moment. Might also not. Now this is looking very promising. Are you going to call them in or not? You are allied after all. Just in case they don't, I'll just justify a new war goal. Vault City is pretty tough. Ah, Lost Hills declared war on me. What the hell? How did you suddenly get all this territory? How? They were surrounded and suddenly it's theirs. Oh well, we'll handle it. I'm going to cancel all your orders. No, actually not. Not like that. Go like this and detach, say... 
for a security arms to a different army, and they're going to just run around and capture stuff. Just walk around and take territory. All the enemy forces should be in the bunker here. And my security arms are pretty fast. Vault City has called in other combatants. It is time to activate the cipher for Vault City. Actually, could have done that earlier. And for the Chimerian Consensus. Well, there is an opening here. I did not notice that. It's a bit of an issue. Let's get some extra Securitrons here. Reduce the occupation laws a bit so I can get the manpower for a moment. So the Securitrons can get it. I'll deploy them soon. They'll stop them soon-ish. Or I might just defeat them in the meantime, while their army is wasting time here. It's also possible. Corruption. Political power. Exploration for technology with the Van Graffs. Mm, sure, let's do it. Focus on the bunker. Let's do Cult of Personality. You can get up to eight armies now. Get all of the points they left out. And get our Lost Hills bunker. Yeah, probably for those still is not very smart, is it? The Lone Wolf is back in action. Get over here. And from the other side. And the rest of you will land here. Okay, go. How did you guys get broken through? The Securitrons seem to be changing orders constantly. How about I just attack the bunker with everything? And kill the Silly Brotherhood of Steel. That should do the trick. Capture all the Lost Hill bunker and that's it that was easier wasn't it i am of course going to just the next one what used to be new reno is dwindling yes so here are some reinforcements for you for all of new reno and they have surrendered and their dude got a virus why does it belong to yakuza suddenly oh, i need vault city to fall so i can get a peace conference all right focus on vault city then make it fall sentry bot researched better attack for the robots for vault city how does yakuza have more points than me when all they did was survive their attacks over and over again. I'm definitely taking New Reno. In fact, I'm taking everything. And if Yakuza doesn't like it, they can be the next one to be conquered. Contest everything, don't let them take a bit. You're not getting any, I think. They might actually be getting some. We shall see soon. If they take something from me, I'll just kill them. Contest everything and take the stuff they take. Seems to be working great. You need a minimum amount of something like 20% for this to work in the mod. This seems to be working. Although if they keep asking and I run out of score, I'll have to invade them. Keep demanding. Yakuza deserves nothing of my conquests. In fact, they might be next. Who knows? Confirm. I think you can do that in the peace conference in the mod because the rounds were extended uh, to 20, sorry, to 10 rounds of gaining a score. And I'm assuming the AI can't keep up. Oh, Yakuza, do we want to conquer you? Well, it would be easy. How long would it take to justify a war goal on you? They did try to take stuff from me, but you didn't actually take stuff from me. Oh, freaking Daniel, I should kill him. He's such an asshole. Oh, that's a lot of ships. I didn't realize we have so many. I mean, I took them from the NCR, but I thought it was less. It doesn't really matter. Unless we want to navally invade the Legion, which we could do, I suppose. I should probably kill the White Legs. But they are assholes. Yeah. Sword upon wounds shall die. Though Yakuza did try to raid me, so we could kill them too. Promote a commander. Some more secure drones. Attack the White Legs. Do I have a spy there? I do not. Send one to the White Legs and two to the Legion. It's a next. Lanius is called out. Robo Brains. Sentry bots next. Robot boost. Could use more manpower. Next to the damn turbine. So, the tourist trade. Now, finally, there is no competition. And I think we can accumulate the tourists forever with this. Weirdly enough, the small advertising campaign is the most profitable one in terms of how much you get for an investment. So let's do that. And buy science too, because it's the second best. Tourism can finally happen now that New Reno is mine too. Resurgence of what? New Reno. Hey, more money. More routes, please. I don't get how the trade routes work. What's the limit on how many I can have? Resurgence of Vault City. Well, I guess I won't get the Robo Brains going. Recharge of pistols. Let's get those. Tourism season. Do you get anything? But that's gonna change soon. We're investing this time. Too many choices. We thought go for Gatling lasers. Not sure if it matters really. If I'm using Securitrons, I might enhance stuff there. We'll see. Max speed for all robots. Justification almost ready. Some extra firepower. Justification is complete. Let's take out Wild Legs. That's gonna be quite quick, isn't it? Actually, I can go aggressive with all the boost we have. Oh yeah, very quick indeed. Boom, boom, no more tribals here. Oh, I missed one. It's fine. We're about to kill them completely anyway. Drug trade. Keep advancing. And there we go. This time I have the majority war score. Quite easily. And there's a vault there even. Nice, most of components and everything. Submit. Contest everything because I get everything. And again and again until they surrender. Everything is taken. No more white legs. Now there are some minor threats remaining, like the troll warren. Yeah, it's a very minor threat. There's only one actual threat remaining. And that's the Legion. Has its time come yet? It might have. Yes, definitely might have come. 
Inspirational. Right, are we equipped to handle Caesar's Legion? That is the real question here, isn't it? I have a lot of troops, but mine are better, for sure. After all, he purposely keeps them as savages. So who will I buy stuff from when I challenge Caesar? Let's keep buying while we can. Let's attack from the Hoover Dam. Oh, we have a non-aggression pact, right? I guess I can just break it. Through Nelson, Cottonwood Cove. I'm oh, sorry, that's Nelson again. Needles. Enjoy your time on the Vegas Strip. Or can I actually do naval invasions? Is it possible? No divisions. I don't have the technology. Get, out. get ready, everybody. Or rather, every Securitron. Also, I guess I'll... I'll get 20 more. Our borders with Caesar should be secure in a moment. Although, perhaps it is too early to attack him. I could keep expanding, attack some smaller tribes, but I think eliminating the big threat is more important. But what is even more important, I think, is actually consolidating the territory we got. I simply don't have enough manpower to garrison all of this. Oh, 7k manpower in the navy. You know what, I don't think I need the navy for anything. Should I just disband it? Trireams, longboats... Yeah, I don't think I need a navy in this scenario. Let's just delete all of them. We'll get a lot of manpower. Is it gonna be enough? Where's that manpower I was supposed to get? Or oh, did it already go to the garrisons? I'm not sure. Should have looked before I deleted the navy. Maybe stop building more Securitrons for now. How much would it take if I switched everything to Securitrons? Because I am missing manpower. Let's try and use Securitrons for security. With um carbon guards on everything. Let's see how much we need. We have the manpower, yes. How many Securitrons would we need for this? 4,000. That's not a lot, actually. With our production capabilities, this is definitely not a lot. What if we just disband an army for now? Well, I do need to protect myself from Caesar as he attacks. How about disband half of this army? I can always train them back up. I need to consolidate and core stuff. And half of this army. Yes, I know I'm dismantling experienced frontline battalions. It's fine. Dismantle and half of this army. And half of this army. Let's see. How many Securitrons do I need? I have enough, I actually disbanded too many. Well, that was silly of me. But they're on their way. I can actually increase this then. But we do road patrols. Stop building basic weaponry, just everyone on secure drones. I can easily train up more. And suddenly we have all the manpower. It'll be fine. Let's wait a bit, actually cancel the justification on Caesar. If he attacks, we're ready, I think. And we can start coring stuff. Can I call TV Town? Yes, I can. Let's do that. How about Hidden Valley? Can I call that? Not just yet. I have an even better idea. I should be using all that manpower I have. So how about we just go to waste and pacification everywhere, like this, and then adjust. See, that would require a lot of security robots. Okay, waste and pacification is overdoing it. Extensive patrols will suffice. And we're gonna switch to militia, but in some places only, and balance it out. So we use up the manpower. How about this as well? Right, I can afford to switch another one to militia. Some of them will use militia, and some of them will use my security robots. This way, we'll use all the resources we have. One more for militia. And another, and Jekylls too, and Lost Hills, and Modoc. Okay, that should do it. We have some manpower left for maybe deploying more units when we have the equipment. Seems like we have enough equipment for all those garrisons. So mixing it was always the best choice, wasn't it? Now, time to keep coring stuff. Yeah, I think I finally got the hang of all the mechanics here. But um, attacking Caesar before we have control, file control over everything, is probably a stupid idea. Economic resurgence of New Canaan. That will be somewhere here. And you can start trade route. This one. State-funded radio programming. I think this was done by having radio technology. So it is very good. Let's do it. And send out some prospectors. With the Hoover Dam, we have so much power. Pretty much researched everything I want. So let's just uh, research random stuff. Keep some laser weapons. Manpower has increased. Let's switch out some security drones for militia. Oops. Too much. This is fine. Extensive patrols should do it. Should probably kill the Yakuza, though. Does Caesar have a war goal on me? No. I will cancel our military access with him. I should expand infrastructure in the places we've conquered that have the most resources. Like, say, Shady Sands. They should have some resources, right? Yeah, I just don't have access to them yet. Lost Hills will probably have some. The Hub. Let's do these. For now. Ah, resistance going down. I would need more political power to corridor. Let's go down here so we can get the Vegas Prime. I had a look and we actually need flying technology, so I should research those. Ooh, suppression bonus. Probably be using those enforcers we just unlocked. Let's have a look. Suppression 8. Okay, this might be great. Let's have a look. No, no Securitrons are actually better at this. 29 Securitrons a day. Wait a minute. My garrison's being damaged heavily. They might be. It's something I always ignore, but with such low manpower, I probably shouldn't. I'm going to switch this guy over to Militia Leader Mick. Should reduce damage to garrisons. That should be good in our current situation. Sentry bots. Why not? They need to maximize Vault City. And New Reno. What else? We'll boost it as we go. Breach the Area 51 facility. Plasma weaponry inside. 
Nice. We can now do plasma weapons. And there's a lot of development projects we've unlocked having all that territory. First of all, let's do tax break That's for factories. Extra grain for more people. And now we can have a look at these projects. Let's restore the Sierra Army Depot. That should help a bit. Research the Glider. We're moving towards the Rotary Engine Bomber. We need that one. Treasure Trove. We got some bonuses. Excellent. Advanced power systems. That's a robot boost. And we can send out some more militia into the wasteland. Something small like Vault City, how about that? Nope, this bit then. We've found some technology bonuses. Right, Militia are doing their thing. And this way we can continue coring stuff. I suppose it doesn't really matter which ones we core, does it? Why can't I core Hopeville? Oh, she doesn't have enough political power. Let's wait then and just pick the best targets. 25 days. And we reduce compliance. Or just disable the trade node. Let's just disable the trade node for a moment. I think I want to core the divide. There are lots of factories there. And we can. We can actually core Hopeville. There's even a map for this. Well, let's wait a bit more. Yeah, sure. Let's core Hopeville. My coring ability is a bit too slow. We need for this. Motorized flight. Where's motorized flight? Ah, uh, here. Okay. Border conflict. Yeah, ignore that. I hate border conflict mechanics. Should destroy the Yakuza territories just for that. I need my armies on the Legion's border. Just so we're safe. The Boomer Agreement. Employ some more militia. The border war is over. and still messing with my army structure. Declare war? Who the hell is attacking me? You. Well, you're gonna die for it. Who can I spare? Let's take our best one from the Hoover Dam. Go attack. And half of you guys can guard the dam. Got some motorized units. Extra stability, please. Raid again. I, I really have to kill those Yakuza guys. How about we deploy another Skirtron army and just use it to kill them? I'm gonna call this way. Perhaps we can get the Shady Sands. Or the Hub, maybe, even. That would be a lot of manpower, wouldn't it? Or the conflict again. I really, I really don't care. Really don't care about that. Oh, out of manpower. Strange. All right, it went to the Securitron divisions I'm building. That's fine. Building, building stuff everywhere. Let's research airships because they're cool. A bonus to my robots in the... No, I want the desert bonus. This one, yes. Militia arms, I don't really need that, but why not? And I suppose we can get this as well. Switching some militia back to Securitrons. Because I didn't have the manpower. Deploy everybody. New general, new army. And Yakuza, you messed with me for the last time. Get in position and destroy them. Exercise for now and justify a war goal. Because they keep sending raiders, so it's time for them to die. Are you doing these idiots? Um, fine, actually. Let's look at our compliance. We're gonna get quite a lot more factories soon. Defenses are online for something. Probably, oh yeah, I was restoring an installation. Airplane bomber. Need more robots. Can't do this one yet. We could move towards the economic miracle for support and all that. And vote 21, but this actually reduces our political power significantly. And I don't think it's worth it. Let's do resistance suppression instead. And maybe core some stuff. Maybe not yet. See, I wanted to move towards what used to be in the centers of New California, like the Hub, or Shady Sands, and Acropolis, and so on. Even the Lost Hills bunker and Janktown. All of these should have quite a lot of resources that I can use afterwards. Alternatively, I can move towards Vault City, which we will also want, and New Reno. I guess I'll call this one. More factories. I'm gonna call this eventually, I think. Probably. And New Reno, and Vault City. Right. Justification on the silly Yakuza is ready. Shouldn't have raided me. That's the end of you. And will one army be enough? Yes. Yes, it will. Centric Bolt Mark III, although with my Securitrons, this is not really necessary. And that's it for them. Oh. They had quite some uh, robots. Might come in handy. I shall, of course, annex. Uh, looking a bit better. The resistance is still a bit too high, but I'm doing resistance suppression now, so it should stabilize. Although maybe it would be better to just cancel this and instead use the political power for coring faster. We need to do a lot of research to build the plane, apparently. Ah, we've decrypted of the Legion's cipher. Tourism season. Oh, we do get some money. In the boneyard? Oh, then perhaps this tourist stuff is not as useless as I thought it would be. Where was it? Let's get one power from the Hoover Dam. I do have a lot of caps, and actually 4,000 gave me 15k caps. It's better than I was getting before. I don't really know how this is calculated. I suppose I'll get some more tourists and see if they disappear later on by signs and small advertising campaigns. Although I think this is ultimately a waste of money, but maybe if I build up enough... No, I still don't think so. The math just doesn't make sense to me because a percentage of them is leaving all the time to go back home, unless there are some hidden multipliers. And I have so much money that we might as well check them out. New citizen care package, please. Radio programming. Hmm, and that will do. But we still haven't killed them. Ah, I see why. They were fighting the other guys as well. And access is blocked. Well, 
about I ask you for military access and when you give it I just send everyone over here that should do it let's core closer to New Reno and they're taken care of give me everything please thank you got some extra territory you have anything interesting not really no this has some resources I could use all right then redo the front lines as they should be the equipment is fine let's blow some more militia yeah, instead of Securitrons. Now the real question is, do we just stick to Securitrons or do we give them support companies? Let's call Vault 3. I think I'm going to give my Securitrons support companies. Let's make sure we're using the old non-support Securitrons for garrisons. What should we add? Hmm, fire team demolitions, that's interesting. Perhaps I should invest more in those. I was thinking a recon, CNC attachment, that's extra robots, so you have a very big increase in attack. Maintenance doesn't seem necessary. Let's do logistics. Demolitions doesn't do anything for me. It just makes them weaker. Oh, maybe because I haven't researched enough stuff. That's possible. Let's add fire teams as well and leave one empty. Now, what do we need? CNC bots? That's pretty much it, really. Okay, CNC bot is the robo brains, yes. Not just the, the robo brains, the older ones as well, but we'll build robo brains. About 10 factories for you. Fire team weaponry will be that, right? Also, infantry and support equipment. Not sure if that's a good choice. Maybe I should just put more Securitrons in the field. Yeah, that's probably a mistake. Mr. House wouldn't mix them like that, would he? Yeah, just adding more Securitrons gives me better stats. Forget it. It was a stupid idea. Should have duplicated it before adding these. I still have this template. It's just five Securitrons instead of six. We'll edit this one. Securitron template. Something like that. And switch them all to that. Exercise a bit. Kanan in exile. You're the ones who are demanding territory, right? And you're allied with these dudes. So they attack. Well, we'll get more territory then. I shall dispatch one unit to kill them. Monster of the East. Oh, okay. Caesar is dead. Lanius has taken command. Okay, now it's, a, now it's Lanius' legion. He should not be as good as Caesar. Time to get some more military factories going. Well, Lost Hills has a lot of potential in that regard. I want to call them eventually. So let's build stuff here. We're not going to benefit from all of it even immediately, but I pretty much built up stuff everywhere that I have cores. My compliance should be maximum everywhere soon enough so let's just use the bits with good infrastructure shouldn't have messed with my secure drone templates although i could produce sentry bots instead and they should be stronger looks like i should really just be doing sentry bots mark two but you know mr house's securitrons are his shtick let's let's just not mess with that i know it would make sense but i don't want to remodel my entire army ah and they declare war on me will you call in your ally you do Dead Horse Apostles. Oh, Dead Horse Apostles are your ally as well. Huh, we did not bring enough Securitrons. Reinforcements. Oh, we get to kill Daniel. He always annoyed me so much. Let's see if he still leads them. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> Get you guys in position quickly. Yeah, and they called them too. That's fine. They'll make some ground, but not a lot. Yeah, they'll get into my territory a bit, but it doesn't really matter. I have sent more troops to handle this. I forgot about, you know, these guys here, the Dead Horses. And we're pushing them back. Let's zoom out and witness their destruction. You don't mess with Mr. House. Troll warrants now? Am I gonna keep getting attacked by people? At least the Legion is not attacking. Troll warrants is these guys. Master's new army, that sounds a bit nefarious and ominous. Alright, since the Legion doesn't seem to want to attack me and they didn't even have a war goal, we can just move all my troops up there. Once we're done with all those stupid tribals up here. Because you do have to be stupid to attack Mr. House. So, here goes. Let's kill some mutants. Well, I do have those motorized units, so let's uh, maybe send them to the front lines as well. And once I'm done with the annoying Daniel, we'll send these people up there as well. And they attack. Well, we were ready. Alright, take everything and execute Daniel. We have ships. Cool. Canoes, probably, but let's take them anyway. Shoshone Nation. Which one is this? Oh yeah, I was ready for it. All my robots go up north. Extra reinforcements on the way. Let's have a look at the country. Mutants. Lots of mutants. Lots of factories, actually. Many more than I anticipated. Capitulated someone. Looking good. We can now repurpose this into a single front line. Oh no, not a single one. Two of them. I thought it was connected. Sisters of Steel growing into a big thing up here. Got the Warren. Lots of factories. Everything tells me I should be using Sentry Bots Mark II. Everything but style. Yet another victory. Right, we're at peace once again. We've conquered lots of people once again. Now let's fill these armies up. How many do we need? 10, 20, 30, 38. Actually, I think I'll replace this guy. We'll make it 54. 54 new security on units, please. Oh, and let's call some stuff, shall we? And I can call Vault City. Excellent. Give me all those resources. What new Reno? Not yet. Yeah, see, we get 27k bottle caps, some development, so maybe it's worth it for the development. And 25% of our current tourists 
go home. So, yeah, under no circumstances is this a good deal. Traders, what can we get? Stability. Economic resurgence, small trade nodes coming online. It's really, it really sucks that I need to research this bomber just to make a deal with the boomers properly. And unlock Liberty Prime. Sorry, Vegas Prime. Because that's a lot of technologies to do. But we can finally do it now. Secure drones deploying. Some factories, please. Wherever. Filling out to the army. 160 secure drone divisions are the goal here. Man, we should finally go and crush the Legion with that. Oh, who's justifying on me? The Legion is justifying on me. Okay. That's uh, Caesar's will. What's this? That's a lot of focuses for Caesar. Caesar's will. Came claims and war goes on the New Vegas core territories. Sure, if you want to play that game, I am ready. Or I will be in a moment. It definitely should be enough to crush you. This is the defining moment. Actually, I was planning to be the attacker when I'm definitely ready. But seeing how they want to fight, we will give them what they want. Oh, wait a minute. Where are my extra secure drones? Oh, I deployed them already. Of course, I need to secure all crossings we might have with the Legion. Ah, see, there's some here. We do take care of these as well. Actually, there's three. This one army can probably handle them. All right. Some troops on each crossing. 20 here, 10 here, 10 here. And three full armies at the dam itself. Well, leg it. Oh, and exercise a bit. Because I have a couple of days to prepare. I have their cipher. I have a good network. Everything should work out fine. Okay, let's core some extra stuff for manpower and such. Hmm, I'm missing resources. Problem is, I'm buying them from Caesar. Did we secure all the crossings? It looks like it. I should probably free up some more security drones by switching occupation forces to militia in some places. How about the troll warren? Yeah, that should work. And we have 2.7 thousand extra security drones. Damn it, that was quick. We're still exercising. Stop that. Well, I thought that would be a full focus time. Right, not many of them were still exercising. It's fine. Just make sure they don't cross the river. Will they cross the river? Well, that would be terrible. We have one thing that can help. Activate their cipher. Yeah, yeah, people join. Them. That's fine. I've massed forces at the dam. We should be able to get across there. We need to hold the crossings. Definitely. Perhaps I should not be activating the orders at the crossings. And again, some of them might succeed. We'll just have to keep an eye out for any trouble. Are we through the dam? No, but we will be. Looking perfectly fine. And we did cross in the lands of the silly tribals who decided to attack us. That's something. I'll combine this into one front line once all the crossings are mine. Is it looking? We actually crossed. Make sure you do not abandon the crossing. Don't be stupid. Right, we have three points of crossing already. Here, here, and here. Good, keep doing that. You guys operate on a single front line, please. Don't be silly and don't get cut off. Oh, you attack more. Right, get the crossing next to Cottonwood Cove too. And add the needles. With that, I can actually do a field marshal level order here. With so many armies freed up. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Everyone who's not assigned anywhere else, attack. Or like this. Three major countries, really? This is gonna take forever then. This is probably the most vulnerable point we have. Well, the progress is looking fine. Hmm, manpower is not. We could use some more security robots. Right, let's go down to road patrols. This will have to suffice. Programming, invest into military academy, military signing bonuses, citizen care package, all the good stuff. Tax breaks for factories. Excellent. Finish them off, rejoin the main attack. This is good. This is good. Although I can be stopped. I just don't have enough Securitrons. But we're working on it. Places to core, maybe. Oh, Sierra Army Depot. She has some nice factories. Call that. Oh, are we about to secure this crossing completely? Yes, we are. Excellent. And the fall of Flagstaff. That was somewhere here. Yeah, that's your capital, right? Or used to be. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'm gonna take everything. All of Caesar's... Oh, god damn it! what is this? They do naval invasion. Well, crap. I didn't realize the technology actually existed here. Should have paid more attention. Well, that's terrible. No matter, I can handle it. We need to handle it quickly and decisively. Yeah, be quick about it. All right, with the rotary engine bomber, we can finally finish with the boomers. Yeah, they wiped out my army here. Which is a pity, but was also to be expected. But we're halfway to capitulating them. So that's something. Vigilant Recycler. We really did not expect them to take us out here, but I'm handling it. Oh, I got 500 factories now. How in the hell do I have that? Ah, probably because of the Legion being conquered. The only problem is, I have nowhere to get those components from. Oh, that's not actually true. I just need to change this and get more resources to market. Yeah, we'll do that in a moment. And we have the Port Copala. We even still have some security drones in reserves. Weird. I get less tourists and I get more money. Maybe it was not a waste of time, the whole tourist thing hardly matters anymore. Another incursion. This doesn't look like a naval invasion to me. Maybe something else. Although I probably should have used the navy to patrol the river. Ah, it's probably fine. Just have to look out if there's any more. 
And I am eliminating a lot of their troops this way. North Phoenix does have a lot of victory points. Looks like it, yeah. Now, Vegas Prime, what will this give me? What? It's too early. Let's change our economy. I'm actually going to stop all my exports. And with this we have more than enough for all our security needs. Yeah, I could have gone with sentry bots, but it wouldn't be the same style. As those two small countries that invaded me down south. I'll have to destroy them. It's a pity their encryption is so good. Seems to be a lot of fortifications here. More military factories all around. Give me more secure drones everywhere. Alright, destroying the remnants here. They are using sentry bots. Yeah, so should I, but the secure drones are just so cool. They've been next stained back. Whatever that is. Right, logistics. Yeah, missing sentry bots. That's a big problem, actually. Perhaps I should go to careful. No. I have a better idea. Switch this to carbon guns. We'll need less securitrons. Yeah. And you go cautious, everybody. It might give me time to rebuild the forces. After all, I am building something like a hundred per day. But we're also losing quite a lot. Extra stability. Let's do the repeating uh, resistance focus. Should have puppeted some people. Might have worked better. But we wouldn't look so good then. We went up to 854 factories. That's nice. Ah, we're having enough robots once again. Yeah, cautious was the way to go. Will we get North Phoenix? We can if we attack here now. No, there's too many of them here. It's an important victory point, but it can wait. These guys don't have the time. They have no supply. Let's destroy them. Killing the Legion. And they're done. I have a lot of money and I could use it to buy guns, but I'm not really using guns. Nobody's selling Securitrons. It's not that useful to me. Military factories in full swing. Oh, why'd you guys abandon this bit? Ah, it must be like with Crimea in the original game. We'll send more people here soon. Now hold the line. This army. You go here. How far are they from Kapuch? Oh, not that far, actually. I can capitulate them relatively soon. But also have to get these guys and... Where's Iron Alliance? Iron Alliance, what is that? Can't see them anywhere. Here, you go this far north. That's disappointing. I will do it, but it's far. Yeah, get Sonora from the north. 7k Securitrons in reserve. Time to go balanced again. Press the advantage a bit more. You know, this army will actually work better if it doesn't go across the river. Just go from around here. It'll be much easier. I am out of places to build stuff in. Looks like I have to start building infrastructure in the Legion, just so we have something to build and, of course, to help my troops along. And I did run out of room to build stuff in. Lots of infrastructure, please. Ah, we surrounded them. Got South Phoenix, excellent. Not again. Maybe it'll be easier to just capitulate. The Sonora Equitate. South is the group excellent. Sonora Equitate is a pain in the behind. So we shall deal with them now. Oh, this time we acted soon enough and this is not a big deal. Shouldn't have messed with New Vegas. <laughs> Again. This is very annoying. But such is the nature of naval invasions, I suppose. You guys. Up here, please. Cunning Desert Fox. This could be useful. And for you as well. There's a lot of deserts there, after all. Elanius, wanna give up already? Not yet. Why are you not moving? Do I need to paint a new order for you? Yeah, it's a bit better. Not much better. But a bit better. Will the Legion capitulate if I get this capital of theirs? Naval invasion taken care of. Almost love it. Beautiful. Are right, the logistics? Very good. Let's go aggressive. I would be better off just maybe sending more securitrons to the front lines, but let's go aggressive and then replace the losses. And such beautiful progress it is. Ha ha ha! The Legion has capitulated. Now, in order to end the war, we would need to do what? So, now Equitate and the Iron Alliance as well. Well then, let's assign our guys accordingly, shall we? What's that bit? So, I need to take this, this, and secure this. All right, we can do that. Easy. Get the Navajo. All right, this leaves me with two armies. I'll just uh, leave these pockets for now. And these two armies can run to the Iron Alliance quickly. And crush them, of course. And do be quick about it. So now Equitate is still standing. Might survive a little longer. No, they're pressed too hard for that. And Caesar's armies were the majority force here anyway. So, are you guys getting to the Iron Alliance yet? It's far away, I admit. It shouldn't be a major, but it is, so we'll kill it. Ah, almost, almost got these assholes. And they are assholes because they kept invading me navally. Yuma, get that. Should you surrender now? Yes, you do. Excellent. Attack south and take out the remnants. Navajo getting killed, good. How about the Iron Alliance? Almost there. Wait a minute, not everybody got assigned to the orders. That's unfortunate. Everything got messed up with the orders. Not all the troops went where they are supposed to go. But I'm rectifying it now. Ah, New Vegas growing a bit. There's some danger here, but I should be done with the war before it becomes a real threat. Coming resurgence, nice. Lots of that. Navajo capitulates, and that's a nice sight to see, isn't it? Why don't you guys just rush their capital? They're very weak. There's no troops here. You rush other victory points. You do the same thing. 
And that's it. The mighty legion falls. That's a bit of score. 82,000. We shall just annex all of it, please. Submit demands. Confirm an exit. Might take it a while to recalculate because that's a lot of territory. There we go. Uranium fever. Bone Hopeville and the Great Silo. New Vegas. Well, stretching quite far. Oh, right. This has been an experience. Quite an intense one, really. And this mod is really well made. Although, with the balance stuff in the world, I think its major value is a bit of roleplay, like the Brotherhood of Steel, maybe. Let me know if you liked this, and if you would like me to uh, play Old World Blues again. And if I should play it again, please give me the details of what you would like to see. Or maybe I should explore another mod, or go back to the base game. I don't know. When I made the poll, the Old World Blues mod was of the top choice for you guys, because the most commenters wrote about it, and I found it to be quite an interesting prospect. So once again, I'm very curious what you think, because I haven't done many mod videos on the channel, so do let me know. And with that, thank you for watching, I will see you again soon. New Vegas reigns supreme, having defeated the NCR and Caesar's Legion both, as well as many smaller threats, and we will leave it here for Mr. House to lead humanity into a new golden age. Goodbye.